Hi, the periodic table, chemical bonding. Now here I've shown the first 18 elements of the periodic table. I've shown the mass numbers, which is the number of protons added to the number of neutrons in the nucleus, and I've shown the atomic number, which is the number of protons. And it's the atomic number which makes the element what it is. So hydrogen has an atomic number of 1, helium has an atomic number of 2, lithium 3, beryllium 4, and so on. Now, the rows of the periodic table correspond to shells or layers of electron. In the first layer, we have two electrons. In the second layer, we have eight electrons. In the third layer, we have eight electrons as well. So helium, which has two electrons in its outer shell, has a full outer shell because there's only two in the layer altogether. Neon has eight electrons in its outer shell because there are eight electrons in the layer altogether. And the same for argon. Now, the different groups of the periodic table are the columns. The rows are shells, or layers of electrons, and the columns represent elements with similar properties because they have similar electron structures. Lithium has one electron in its outer shell, and so has sodium. Beryllium in group 2 has two electrons in its outer shell, as has magnesium, and so on. Boron and aluminium have three, group 4 have four electrons in their outer shell, um, five, six, seven, and then for neon and argon, eight, where we know helium only has two because it's in the first layer. Now, elements on the left of the periodic table want to lose electrons to get a full outer shell. Lithium has only got one electron in its outer shell, so if you can lose that, it will have the electron structure of helium, and that will give it a full outer shell. So lithium wants to lose one electron and go back and be like helium, Beryllium wants to lose two electrons and go back and be like helium, and, and so on, until you get to the middle where it becomes easier to share electrons than to lose them. Now, when you're on the right of the periodic table, like fluorine, fluorine has seven electrons in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's easier for fluorine to get one more electron and pretend to be like neon. Oxygen wants to get two more electrons and pretend to be like neon. Nitrogen, carbon and boron, um, they, will they will often share electrons to form full outer shells. So what we say is elements on the left of the periodic table want to lose electrons to get a full outer shell. Elements on the right of the periodic table want to gain electrons to get a full outer shell. This is called ionic bonding. So the lithium might give its electron to the fluorine, the fluorine would become like neon, and the lithium would become like helium. Right, this is called ionic bonding. Elements in the middle of the periodic table want to share electrons to get a full outer shell. This is called covalent bonding. Elements in the middle of the periodic table want to share electrons to get a full outer shell. This is called covalent bonding.